the components required for this experiment are esp32 board max 30100 sensor two 4.7 kilo ohm resistor one breadboard connecting wires and connecting cable Now log into the Blink.Cloud website and go to developer zone. Here click on new template and give the template name. And select the hardware type as ESP32 and connection type as Wi-Fi. Then click on the done button. Now go to data streams and click on new data stream and select the virtual pin. Now add the first data stream for BPM and pin number as V3 and select the data type as double. We can select the maximum value as 150. Now click on the create button. Now again go to new data stream and select the virtual, virtual pin and create the second data stream for SPO2. Here select the pin as V4 and data type as double and here also we can select the maximum value as 150. If you want we can change this color. Now click create button. Now go to web dashboard and drag two gauge widgets. Now go, go to the settings of the first gauge and here select data stream as BPM and click on the save button. And then go to the settings of the second gauge and here select the data stream as SPO2 and here also click the save button. Now click save the template. Now go to devices and here click on new device and then click from template here we can see the template which we created and click on the create button now copy this template id template name and authentication token and paste in our program here we need to install this library max30100 from tools manage libraries then enter the wi-fi username and wi-fi password and then upload the program to the esp32 board so for that go to tools and select the board and here select ESP32 Arduino and select the ESP32 DAW module and then select the port and now click this arrow button and upload the program to the ESP32 board now the program is successfully uploaded to the ESP32 board now we can set up the Blink mobile dashboard for that download the Blink IoT application from the Play Store now once you open the application, you can see the template which we created on the Blink web dashboard. Now click on the template, go to settings, click on the plus button and here add two gauge widgets like we did in the Blink web dashboard. Now click on the first gauge and here select the data stream as a BPM. Now go back, now click on the second gauge. Here select the data stream as SPO2. Now go back. Again click on the back button. Now the Blink mobile dashboard setup is completed. Now we can check the output. 